Nobody can stop us from coal mining. Good. Nobody can stop us yes. from coal mining. But is... politics is dynamic. Issues are changing. Expectations are high. This is where you'll hear our leaders speak. Are we ready? Let's start. Dr. Khalukhi, yes, very nice yes, to meet yes. you. Huh? Come, come. Very nice. You look yes. fit and strong. Oh, huh? Thank you, thank yeah. you. Good, Dr. Khalukhi. Very nice to meet you. The, the first time you took part in the parliament was in what year? I think that was uh, in the COVID, in the midst of COVID. In the midst was of COVID. 2020, uh, I think September. Yeah. I had to go can for you, my swearing. Can day. you share your experience, uh, academic life, your political life? with the audience? Well, the, my academic life is that I, I started my schooling in July, mm, and then I did my college in St. Anthony's, and well, I did my master degree and my uh, PhD in Nihu. Mm. What then, subject? Uh, well, I'm from history department, uh. but uh, you know, I did my PhD in political uh. science because oh, of my- discipline. Yeah, not only I'm a little interested in yeah, into good. politics. Yeah. So this is my academic and well, of course, I joined as a, a lecturer in Synod College mm -hmm. and when I retired in 2017, I'm head department of history. Mm -hmm. And well, my interest in politics is right from my student days. Oh, student I have, days. Yes, I, have in, I have involved myself. I was only in class nine when I joined the Gentia Student Union. Oh, active, huh? Yeah, and he was actually, Dr. Lulu was the founder. Founder. Oh. You, you were brought up in Gent Hills. Yes. Your father is a Lalu, no? Yeah, oh, born, born, born and brought up in ah. Gent Hills. And like, right from my grandfather, my grandfather is actually his reverend. So he, of course, my grandmother is from Maulai. Maulai. But he got married and then because of his posting, he took ah. all the family to Jwai. Yeah. So that's why sometimes, of course, now I getting married here in Shillong and then, you know, I start learning Kasi ah. <laughs> before I used to pronounce Kasi in in uh, this Panar or Gentia Panar. language. Yeah, environment. Yeah, no? environment. environment. Yes, yes. Yeah. Then that was how it began. Then, you know, in 1986, I was brought into politics by late Professor Pakem. He Pakem. was the one who introduced me oh. to politics. I joined HPU. And then after that, I was in UDP. Then I left UDP in 1999. It's a different political problem. Mm, yeah. So I thought I would leaving politics. But then came July 19, 20, 1999 in which uh, you know, P.A. Sangma came out of the Congress. And then he was at the time trying to in search of some leaders in Kasi and Jait Hills because it seemed from the Congress except Mr. Boniface Bamon, yeah. who was ex-CM. Nobody followed him. So then we were sitting, sitting with friends. Then I thought that, well, I'll join him with one, one reason that, well, such a man who's well known in India, yeah, well -known. I'm not saying even internationally, yeah. but see, even India, yeah. well known in India, and to say that he doesn't have any followers from, you know, Kasi and Gent Hills, then it is not a shame on him, but a shame on us. So for that reason, and well, I know when I, that, what, that day when we have this uh, conference, youth conference, Bar Preston was. You know, uh, when he was speaking, he said, when Dr. Karluki joined at that time NCP, I thought he was a fool. <laughs> but today, after 20 years, then I, mys I myself also was with him. So, I mean, this is my belief. Sir, you are a professor, well-learned -learn person. You know, if you look at the history of any movement in the world, yeah. you just have to have patience. Patient. You have to have patience, it will come. No, but patience with the right group, with yes, the right uh, yes. mission and vision. Yes, a right mission, but that you have to have it yourself yes. only. You should, you should be convinced that whatever group you join, they are, they are yes. a right group. No. And then yourself but, you know, should... Sangma was a great leader. Yes, He yes. never lost an election. Yes, yes. He fought from Congress, he won. Mm. He fought from NCP, he won. Then he fought from Combined Trinamol, so yes, he won. Yes, yes. And finally he fought from NPP and he won. And, and he became a very effective speaker. And you know, what, what do I tell? I tell our people today. You know, wh what is the, you know, the secret of P.A. Sangma? I don't know. Every campaign I have went with him. P.A. Sangma starts his campaign with a prayer 
and ended his campaign with a prayer. Even if like we reach that those days when they allowed up to one o'clock or twelve o'clock in the midnight, he will always start with a prayer. And that's why I said, God is blessing him. Yeah. That's why he never lost Emily. Yeah, that's why he never lost. And coming back to you, so you became you were a very effective um, president of the NCP then and now NPP. And you remain till how many years have you completed? More than twenty years. No, 20 years means joining the party, but as president, I was uh, from 2007, I was NCP. But, now, so I party think, more than 20 years. Yeah, more Very than. Very good. That's and the thing is not me. I always believe in collective responsibility. Yeah. You know, we walk together. You have been with us. We have, ah, you know, we're yeah. walking together, sharing our ideas. Yeah. That is how we develop. No, that's why I appreciate you. And not only that, you may not recognize, but you are one of the few people, qualified academician, who remain united, steadfast with the party, and people look at you, and they thought, forgive my language, they thought maybe he's a fool, really. He has nothing. When NSP was in a portion, NPP was in a portion. But when he became fruitful, and when they offered you to get NP, I read in the paper, I don't know, meet you then, he said you were reluctant to join. No, you see, the thing is like this. Actually, in 2008, Mr. P.A. Sangma offered me to, you know, to for this uh, Raja Sabha, I but I refuse. You see, but only, uh, as you, you're a politician, I'm a politician, yeah. we have certain age, certain goal. Actually, what I wanted was that 1998, I have, I have uh, like, uh, organized myself that 1998 should be my first step into politics, politics. in uh, like no more party politics, but into uh, electoral politics. Electoral politics. So what happened, unluckily for me, I could not get the ticket. And I agreed to it because it was fair. Yeah. We have a primary <coughs> unit, mm -hmm. and I was I lost the ticket to Sinmule by two primary units. Oh, so I give my commitment that um, we have not only me, all we are three of us who applied for the ticket: Mr. Mule, then Mr. Gordon Pude, and me. Uh -huh. So we give a commitment: whoever gets a ticket, we work together. So I have to keep Whoa. my commitment. Uh, that I didn't know. Yes, yes. I didn't know. Though yes. I was with you for a long time yeah, yeah. in the party of it. So that was. So that you became MP Rajya Sabha in 2020. Uh, yeah, 20. Yes. I like the people to share. I like you to share with the people through this uh, uh, free and frank with Balonyak, this media. Uh, what did you stress on the issues in Parliament, which concern our people, especially minorities? You see, my first experience, let me tell you, my first experience uh, not in parliament, but at least in Delhi politics. Yeah, Delhi politics. And, you know, f when first time before my, you know, my speech in parliament because because of the COVID, so I don't find the situation, you know, is uh, really, uh, uh, that the situation is really okay for me to yeah. uh, give us, uh, to speak. So my first experience, it is really a bad experience in which we really, all three of us from here, that is Mapala from the Congress, Agatha, me. We tried our level best to at least get a person of of our people from here for Vice Chancellor post. Vice Chancellor. So because I thought that you know now fifty years, yeah. it's only Professor Pakem who had been Vice yeah. Chancellor. So when we meet this the power that be in Delhi, it seems they were uh, you know they were uh, like uh, very positive. But when it happened, it happened in another another, yeah. uh, another way. Then when it comes to Negrims also, we are trying for a director of Negrims. Of course, we don't have our people yeah. who are qualified, but there are people who really sacrifice themselves for us. There are two of them. One was Dr. Mishra, who was from the constituency of the Prime Minister himself, uh -huh. Ranasi. Then one was Professor Vandana, who is from the South. So I thought these people had been with us for years. They understand us. So I, we push for them, but that also never happened. So then I realized that, well, uh, which means we, we, we are not counted. Yeah, not countable. So I'll just tell you that I have never attended an NDA meeting. Huh, really? Yeah, yeah. In spite of the fact that NPP yes, is a working part of NDA. Because of I, I realized that there's no point. Why should I waste my time? Uh, you have courage, huh? No, no. Why should I waste my courage. time? No, yeah. because you are intelligent, educated, and experienced. That's why you have the courage. You, you showed your integrity as yes, a yes, tribal. Yes, yes, Very yes. good. You see, in that respect, I think, irrespective of party, we yes, have yes. to appreciate the Congress that in yes. 1991, 
1919, it won't became yes, the Vatican. Yes, yes, yes. That we should give thanks to the yes, yes. Central Congress Party at that time. I think at that time, the Sinisa was P.P. Narasamarao, Prime he Minister. He the Prime Minister and Mr. Sangma, he was a Cabinet Minister. Yeah, and he did yeah. play a very important role yeah, also. Yeah. That is, I still remember when the Pope visited in like 4th February 1986, P.P. Sangma from Delhi, then Prime Minister from there, and then M.M. Jacob was a union minister of state for home. And Captain Sama, United Lady Walk. Mm -hmm. And Pono Sama, they used to tell me, short height but tall in action. Pope came here, yes, 4th yes. February 1980. You see, just now, to in yeah. the intervene, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, this United Lady is very important. Yeah, United. What I feel for, not only for the people of Megalia, what I feel for the people of North East, this is what we need. We need a united a forum from the Northeast, or I may say we need a mm -hmm. strong political party with a strong backing from the Northeast to go to Delhi. I'm very thing with this. That day when I make a speech in the conference or youth conference, mm -hmm. I said NPP had this. This vision of the NPP is a, a united, uh, a united Northeast. One voice, one Northeast. But is very true. Different voice, different Northeast. You see, one voice, one North East, we go to Delhi, we demand. Mm -hmm. Different voice, different North East, we go, we beg to Delhi. Yeah, that's so this correct. is what, what I feel, what you said, united, this is very important. That's why we miss the board. We miss the Bison Chalot. Yes, 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 yes. We miss even the DGO police. Yes, yes. Though we are, we were at the mercy of the, of the center, hmm. panel of names. And even Mizoram, they miss the chief secretary. Oh, uh, mm, anyway, this is yeah, thank God we have got the chief secretary. Rebecca Sushem yes, local. Yes, yes. And hopefully after she retired, I think next center yeah, will be DJ Walang local. Should be. Yeah, yeah. So good. Now, what were, now also you continue to wish, what were the issues that you spoke on the floor of parliament when you got the chance? You see, first, my first uh, speech was on the stride of the medical doctors. The doctors. You see, why I, why I took this? Because what I've seen is that, you know, we politicians, we hardly know about what is medical science. Mm -hmm. Neither we do respect the court, will will not know that much. Yeah. It is people who are there who know. And you know what happened? Why they have to go on strike? Because of the late in counseling. And you know, late in counseling means they will be short by one third of their strength. And I did mention in the parliament, this is in the midst of pandemic. And too much short, one third of the one strength third. of medical problems. Yeah. Like doctors. if, uh, like uh, from 75, which means 25 doctors are out because the counseling was not helped. So I did mention, I said, it is in the midst of the pandemic. That was in the month of December, 8 December 2021. 20, 20. 21. January 2022, this outbreak of Omicron. Yeah. Thank God that Omicron is not like Delta variant. Yeah. The, the, you know, the, the, the infection was such that half of the doctors, they have to stay back home. If it had been like Delta variant, what will happen? Yeah, there has been a natural disaster, yeah. national it more, disaster. It'll be, I did mention also, I said it will be worse than last time we we a shortage of oxygen. Yeah. So I just thank God that it didn't happen. It didn't happen. Then my next uh, thing is about the age schedule. Age schedule. Because I feel... No. That we deserve. Yeah. That See, why yeah. I don't know. We have fought. If I remember it, from 1974, when Professor Lundo was the speaker, from that time they were fighting for the recognition of, of Kashmir language and the issue. What were the breaks that uh, stopped the progress of? You see, I don't know because once upon a time, this is just for what I heard. Uh -huh. Once upon a time, they were saying that it had to be recognized by the Haitias, Sahabaha, or something Haitia like Academy. that. Then another thing was that they said, no, there are so many languages and dialects who wanted to be recognized in the each mm -hmm. But my point is this. We got a state, that's what, what, yeah. what I said in the parliament, we got a state. Now, 50 years, we are a state. Yeah. Can you imagine a state with people with no language? That, that I cannot imagine. And I'm very, you I know. I used to call it a paradox. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, I'm very thing. I'm I, I'm 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 very grateful to the chairman, our chairman. Our chairman, he was always encouraging us. That he said, I wish to see the day that each one of you 
come and speak in the parliament in your own language. Do. Yes, in our own, own language. Then I did mention, I said, sir, I wish that your dream come true. Yeah, good. Only when we get our language, then I will be able to speak in my language and be proud to speak in my yeah. own language. I would support from a person yeah. like him. Yes. You feel so more he, encouraged. He, I, the way when I speak and the way he responds, it seems he, I got a support. I said, you see, at one time they said that the number of Khasi speakers is very less. Now we have crossed 20 lakhs. And you know that Sindhi, it is also 20 lakhs. And the people without a state in India, and they are a part of Pakistan, and yet you to sing in Janakana, Punjab, Sindhu, Kujarata, hmm. Sindhi. Hmm. Uh, funny. People try to stress that it should be omitted. They said, why should you omit? We are still Indians, hmm. and we are across 20 lakhs. We also we have crossed 20 lakhs. I think there must be something like maybe publications, translation, or films and so on. So we have got enough, I think. Hmm. You see, the thing is like this. What my feeling is that we always speak of unity and diversity. Hmm. So let us practice unity and diversity. <laughs> what, is, what is wrong in giving all the 400 dialects? They are part of India. Yeah. They are part of great India. So I think we should be practical, not only yeah. saying that unity and diversity, but we should practice that unity yeah, and convert diversity. Into yes, convert into it and by reality. recognizing all those languages. See, what is the harm? See, in, in Assam, Bodo is a recognized hmm. language. Though Bodoland is a Bodoland Territorial Council part of Assam. Hmm. So we, for us, Karun Khasis should be recognized. Of course, I I am not mm, prejud prejudicial. I think we should go separate ways in the sense that if the Karus are ahead of us, and they reach the target, they can pull us. Or if we push ahead and we reach the target, we should pull them. I remember during the Hill State movement, he said, said Piso told to Reverend GM Nicholas Roy, he said, I think it's better we part ways. We travel by different boats. So that if my boat succeeds, I'll pull you in case you drown. And if your boat is succeeds to reach the destination, you pull us from drowning. And they got a separate state, we got a separate state, partly of course, not mm -hmm. the main reason. I think our Koro friends should not feel bad. My, my thinking is this, but the thing is like what I said, that since always we speak of unity and diversity, mm -hmm. I'm not speaking only of, okay, Khasi Garo. Mm -hmm. Well, all the dialects, whatever you may say, 400 languages and dialects, they are Indians. Indians. So they should be recognized. Yeah. Because as Indian, they have to be recognized. Yeah. We cannot have... One section you recognize, another section you no, don't recognize. I think uh, I'll have to make a certain revision in your statement. There are some people, for example, in Daman and Nicobar Island, the Great and the Great and the Minis tribe, they are hardly 100. Mm -hmm. Difficult. Uncle tribe also, they hardly, they are not even two digits. So I think, as you said, it's a kind of modification. What is? All languages have got enough speakers that have got literature of their own, culture of their own, that should be recognized, provided certain numbers is rich. Yeah, it, it, it should be like that, but the thing is, uh, but we do not, we should not allow this, you know, to stop us from, you know, yeah. like one, one of the points, like I have discussed with you last time, yeah, yeah. one of the points is that maybe, maybe we are yet to get that much numbers of no, publication, of course, publication, of publication and all this. So that should not be. No, but Khasi books, we have got enough books mm. actually, even translation. Mm. Uh, I shared with you last time, I mean, Aesop's Fables, mm. the Khasi translation of Soso Tham, I think it's on the mm. metric, mm -hmm. far better than the original. Even the poem, Lucy, mm -hmm. huh? oh Lucy, he wrote, and that com co comedian from Scotland, John Kilpin, mm -hmm. If you read the poem, the translated poem yeah. of Sosutam is more elaborate, riding a horse more or, hilarious if I'm not mistaken. than the English original. I think John Kilpin riding a horse. Hey, a horse. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, the thing, my, my point is this. This should not be the, you know, the, the criteria that you should bar a language, yeah, you know, from being bar. recognized. Because like I, what I'm saying, we are part of the great nation India. We are talking of, you know, India accept everyone and everybody. So why bar the uh, language? Well, I think uh, I'd, I'd right out to that. You see, on this new NDA government, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has spelled out clearly that young writers should be encouraged. Now, if you compare the rest of India with us, it cannot be true. 
India have got their education, I think, 1600 or 1700. Mm, we got our own in 1973. That was for the English department mm, only. Mm, mm. So I think that comparison cannot be brought yes. in, into practice. They should take that condition which India afforded us into, consider, into consideration. As you're right. And they should have certain funds. For, they should write under the under the under the budget for these rising languages yes, to yes. encourage the new. You should talk that in the next session. You are a very intelligent man. You are a professor in the you, you, say not college for many years. No, no, we you are we are at Parsa. No, no, no. <laughs> you get the interaction from many students. In Nehu, I was teaching only mathematics, so I could not get feedback from other departments, except when we had seminar. We invited professors from outside. For example, in mathematics also, we have got so many fields. So we could invite professors from ISI, agricultural maths. Mm. We invited from Delhi also, this planning maths. But you uh, were open to all sections of the student you taught. We met from history, from political science, from Kasi department, even from the science subject. So you have the advantage in that. The thing is, uh, once the thing which I experienced in the college is that we learn from our student also. Uh, yeah. You know, we used to encourage them, like uh, you know, like what was done in the university. We I like to intervene. Great professors, great teachers, admit their 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 cap where they need feedback from the students. You see, I believe one thing. My belief is that, you know, I got my education, but to get knowledge is you know is quite a difficult task to get yeah. knowledge. Education, yes, I may be educated, okay. but it doesn't mean that I'm educated. You know, I can be a hair a person like a saloon cut, cutting ah. hair and all this. I don't believe in that. So what I'm seeing is that we learn from our students. I remember that we encourage them to do like you know like a, a giving a, uh, like a paper, not seminar, but we used to call them and then they will write, and then you know that is some sort of a seminar on them, any on any topic, any topic interaction. Okay. We learn so many. You know, one one girl from the, some uh, Nongstoy. For the first time, I came to know that the you know the largest uh, clan in the Khasi Giant Hills is the the uh, the clan who belong to ancestors of the Yao Chibidi. You know the huh. Lalu clan, Lalu the Lamin clan, clan, then Ding Do, Ding Do uh, then Marngar and Paryong. Yeah. There were thirty-two clans. Thirty-two. Yes. Ah, I thought twelve. No, thirty-two clans. I got it from my student. Then she gave the list of those clans. So yeah. this is how we learn. And another thing is, you know, like uh, we are talking of Mon Khmer, Mon Khmer, yeah. Mon Khmer, that originally we are Mon Khmer. But when I discovered this, I realized that we are no longer only Mon Khmer, we are a mixture of... Indo-Tibetan. Like uh, this, uh, you see, besides the Khasi and the mm -hmm. Jaintia, we are Mon Khmer, or other are, belongs to the Indo-Tibetan group, in which, you know, this Yao Shibidi, actually, she migrated, she came through Krompani. Karumpani. Which means yes, yes, ah. either Karbi or uh, either Karbi or uh, Naga. Ah. Ah. So which means we are a mixture of with this 32, 32 clans. We are a mixture of Mon Khmer and in, ah. Indo Tibetan. Uh, Indo Mongoloid. Uh, yeah. So now I come back to your academic. You did your PhD. Yes. Your your main subject was actually my main subject is history, but I did my PhD. MPhil I did history. PhD I did in political science. Ah, multidisciplinary. Yes. So now, see, now Sahitya Academy or the center stress on publication of books. Why don't you publish your book? You see, yes, sir. As I said prior to that, yeah. there should be, I know you are earning money, but when you are doing service to the society, government should come forward and encouraging writers. So yes. you will set example to other young writers. You see, sir, I actually, I was planning to do that. Mm. My plan is, you know, after we have won the election, I said, I'll be retiring and then I'll publish my thesis first. You'll write one book. No, publish my thesis first. And then? So what happened now again, it got stopped <laughs> because of politics. But even then I tried. Now the, the difference is this, sir, once upon a time, you just give your thesis to the publisher, he'll do it. Yeah. Now we have to do this through pen drive. So of course that I have done it. So I think I'll publish and like what you said, I fully agree. I have... When I met you last time, when we discussed about this, you told me that we, are, we, we should have so many publications. When I go to my thesis, I think if I translate in Takhasi, I think four or five books is coming out uh, of my uh, thing. Very good. 
of my uh, thesis. Yes, so I, I will keep it, that is my target, sir. You retire from Senior College, you yes. don't get pension? No. Then you are now uh, Rajasva. We, the government should not take advantage of that. See, you earn your bread and water by being in a party, and you are now MP Raja Sabha, you get a salary for the work done for the people. But for these books, government should come and help. Even centre should help. If they are so concerned with us minorities, they should help translate words into deed. And we should start from here. I know you feel bad to, to approach the ministers now, but they should. No, no, actually it's not that, sir. My no. problem is not that. My problem is time. No, no, but still, the government should send an example to start with you. They, people will talk. Mm -hmm. well, same party, this, what does matter? No, no, you see, I, 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 with people talking, I, I don't mind. Because I know where I'm going, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> like what I said, I'm transparent in everything. People have every right to talk about <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, then you can continue then. So, you, you know, you are in the process of writing. You have finished pen right yes, on yes. your test. So, Very now good. I'm in the process of getting it published. Published. Yes. You have got a publisher. No, no, I will. There are many of them. Then other uh, from your thesis, uh, your thesis, you can write four or five books. You said. Yes, yes. But so translate that thesis, I can translate to Kasi. It will come into four or five books in Kasi. Ah, that's very good. You said the trend. So very... Now, besides this uh, Kasi language to be included in the other schedule, along with Garo, and uh, as I have said, uh, along with other languages, what was the mean? What that you talk in the parliament then, and that continues to tickle your mind you see, for, for the benefit of the people of the region. You see, last time, in this last session, actually I was trying for, you know, to talk on AFSPA, but uh, I did not get a chance in the zero hours. So I go for the Look South policy. Look South? Look South Not policy. Look East, no? No, not Look East. My, so what's I, the difference between Look East and Look South? I so mean, from the, not geographically, but from the economic you see, perspective. The way I'm seeing it and the way I'm talking in the parliament, I told them that now this Look East policy, it was started by UPA government. Yes. Then NDA government come with the idea of Act East. Act East, yes. So I was telling parliament that till date in my state, in my state I'm saying, I have not seen the benefit of my people either on the Look East or <coughs> the Act East. Not only our state. All other and the thing is, I told them, in my state, this is nothing, but it's just a, an academic for academic consumption only. <laughs> we have seminars, so many seminars. Oh, yes, we right. have so many seminars, if you remember, even in Nehu, even in the colleges. In uh, NEC also, we oh, have. So it is for academic consumption, uh -huh. you know, <laughs> but never economically practical. practical. So I told them, I said, just to inform the house, that pre-independence, while us, while East Bengal was there, there was a trade which flourished between the border areas and East Bengal. And they called those Bajar border huts. Border hut. After independence, all the border huts were closed. And the result was that it really impact, especially the people in the border, yeah. economically. Mm. So I request the government of India, at least for my state, why don't you try the Look South policy? and open up the border huts, mm. so that our people will benefit. Uh, then in that case, Shitikong River Port, Seaport, yes, can yes. will help us for, yes, yes. Uh, um, for external trade. I, I, just to add to what you said, I, rem I was told, I was just a kid at a small baby crawling on four legs at that time. But when I grew up to become a young boy, my father used to go to Bangladesh. The young money, the hmm. people prosperous. And the war region, all along yes, the border, yes. they came, well, Jaintia, Panar, and Khati, moved freely, and, and those days they called Bengalis came freely. And in fact, during 1905, Dhaka was the capital of Eastern Bengal and some People didn't, the Khati didn't complain. Mm -hmm. Only the other parts of the Eswiles province complained, and it was restored. And I read in the book that oranges of the border area were transported by by ropeway during the time of JGM Nicholas Roy. Mm. Now those people have become very poor. Not only poor, wretchedly poor. Yes, really yes, felt. because of the close yeah. of the... So can you continue please with what your You see, vision? the thing is like this. It's not only that. When I was doing my research, I came across in the library of the National Archives. Uh, he, he was a, a British uh, lieutenant or major. In his writing, he said that this trade of especially oranges yeah. back 
way back to the Arab invasion of India. Could you imagine? The uh, Arab invasion, which means it is before Christ century. That this trade, orange trade from the hills, you know, it went through maybe uh, present Bangladesh, then down south, yeah. in which the Arab came to trade. I came, they must come through the elements. Huh, and I, this, I, I, I came across this writing in National Archives. Sure. He was uh, a lieutenant of the British at that time. This new knowledge to yeah. me. Huh? And another thing, sir, I think, I don't know where you have come across. You know, the Statutory Commission report in 1920, the Kasi Giant Hills district is a surplus district. Could you imagine? 1920 uh, statutory. Uh, I just remember during my days, 19, hmm. when I was young, 1960. Um, Jandi Hills uh, produce uh, enough rice, red mm, rice, mm. and they exported to other parts of the place. Now, if no Russian shop, people will die. That means if the trade through Bangladesh is yes. comes through, then there will be the trade flourish, people will become prosperous again. Mm. So there should be a mutual un understanding between these two areas. Yes, yes. We're cutting to trade. At the same time, we. Pre uh, once we flourish, we are well, we know how to protect yeah. our identity. Yes, and, and the thing is, sir, today, it's very, I don't know, today, what happened, we have the, we demark our border between Bangladesh. So here is our side, the other side. And there's a no man's land. No man's land. But the best thing is, you have your heart in the no man's land. That will be the best uh, thing. Why waste that no man's land? You yeah. establish your border hearts there. Then that thing of, uh, you know, saying that uh, they are, they'll be coming to our side also, not be there. And we're going to their side also, not be there. Not be there, yes. Mm. Because once we prosper, we mm. have enough, uh, mm. we are quite okay. So we, they, they, need, they also, they are afraid. Yes, we yes. Also, we, why should we go no, there? No, they need us, we need them. We need them. And in that case, then we have got our own border security force, mm. and they have got their own border card of Bangladesh. BGP and BSF can work together. Very you see, it's only actually it's only the political will. I have seen. I have gone to one of the what they call this uh, Yao Mo. They call yeah. uh, Yao Yao, where you know they have it here in our place. But the bang, the BSF gave the timing. Uh. Four o'clock, they'll blow the whistle. All those Bangladesh will go to their thing. Four o'clock evening. No, evening. They, I was there. I last. I think I went for campaigning in this election itself, 2018. Then I saw this market, both Bangladeshi and uh, thing, uh, you Indian. know, trading together with us. And when four o'clock, when the BSF blew the whistle, all the Bangladeshi went <laughs> back to their thing. It, it can be, you know, no, regulated. No problem. It reminds me, in 1989, there was a priestly ordination in the border areas, uh, Karu priest. I was an Emily then I went there. And this uh, border car Bangladesh also came hmm. and so many Karos came because it was Karo to be ordained. And before us they also say hey, bye bye, you went peacefully. Yeah. Along with the border car yeah. Bangladesh. Hmm. So we also came back peacefully. And we are people are there around twenty, thirty thousand yeah. of our yeah. people there. Twenty thousand, no. Mm. Of course, caros are more. They get no? them more than because four, they've five got their own minister. They've got I think their own five, six lakhs. Yeah. These are everywhere. Uh, they, they know how to survive. Yes, yes. Earlier, Kasi survived everywhere. But this exclusivism destroyed us. But I think our Kasi who is living in the, you know, the Karimganj area and all this, they they, they survived. They, they know the art of survival. But, but now they have uh, res been resurrected. This mm. uh, Dr. Mostas Karbitai, he's teaching in Sirsiar. Mm. Just recently, they have got a, an organization of Kasi Jaintia community of um, Barakbari. A big crowd came. Mm. They are almost, I think, in this Hailakandi, Karimganj area, they are almost touching 20, 30,000. I think because, yes. So once once this, uh, our neighbor saw that so many in educated people, mm. enlightened people, prosperous businessmen, academicians, so earlier they used to think very lightly of us. In fact, they look at us with contempt. Mm. Now when you saw, you know, Moses Karbitai teaching yes. in Sulchar College, or uh, university, so they respect us. So the Kasi Gentiles are so quite educated. So because we don't know, we are the man, we act tough. But when they know, they do mm. respect us. Mm. So it's very good. So how do you find the response of the government of India to your debate? That I don't know, sir, because uh, yet what I brought in is yet to materialize. So I, I of think course, of course, this, with, yeah. with regards to the, I think the the, the topic I 
spoke about the you know the medical strike. Mm. I think somehow the government realized no. and then once he's, once he's counseling a, was helped and all yes, this. Once you see a qualified man, a man with, uh, who in this age, whether you like it or not, a degree is the first Im impression to the people in general. When you look at a beautiful girl, the beauty is the first impression. You cannot deny it. When the, but when the women look at us, they look at the economic aspect, the man who can protect them. So these things are there. I think they follow the same pattern in that. Parliament. All these speeches are kept, no? Yes, yes, yes. And you have it, to sign before it become. You have to sign before. Before I, you before know, before I, you know, before I get my chance to speak, I have to sign. I think. And also, I have to submit my speech also. Okay. Then after the finish, also you correct. So this, once you sign, it becomes public. Now property. what did they do? I didn't have to correct because immediately they will uh, the people who are helping us they will take xerox it oh. and keep it. So now it now it has become public property. Yes, yes. Why don't you share with the press so that people will know? So that the response of people will be quite overwhelming. Then you'll be inspired also. The thing is, I'm so sorry, sir. Last time I did share with the press, but not, not giving them in the, my writings, but uh, just like that. No, you yeah. cannot keep them writing. Yeah. Because you keep writing, everything will be... No, it's no problem. It's no problem. There's nothing to hide, sir. I can give it. The thing. You can give to us? Yeah, yeah, I can give to you. Because people, when you know, not only they praise you, but they praise themselves. Because they'll benefit, hmm. they'll think for the children and grandchildren. See, we have got excess coal, so we can export, and at very profitable price. Now, when I talk of coal, I read your your uh, press review. You keep to the press reporters. Can you share with us? In fact, I borrowed with your statement and use it in my editorial. Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> you see, sir, the thing is this: I, I'm very clear with coal. Good. I said nobody can stop us from coal mining. Good. Nobody can stop us yes. from coal and mining. The thing but is, a rider. Yeah. Okay. You can put a rider. But the thing is like this, sir. You know, the like, yes, the ban was there. And yes, like what every, every, every time we came out of the press, that illegal mining, it will go on happening. Okay. Because why I'm saying, sir, I came from that district. Mm -hmm. Before coal was uh, before before coal was uh, found there, you know, in 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 early seventies. In early seventies, in, 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 in term of you know that uh, it, it became a commodity of uh, yeah. like uh, you know like uh, for purchasers' commodity, I may say. The people were very poor, yeah. and then those days nobody nobody were were seeing to it. Then that's why I used to I used to tell people, did you ever question those people whom today, especially the learned people in urban areas, we're calling them coal mafia, coal baron, which they don't even understand what is that. Yeah. Have you gone back to their early age? I said those same person, that that time, they were child labor. Yeah, okay. They were walking as uh, you know cowherd somewhere in Jawai at the time or somewhere in a village where rich people. It was child labor was practiced. Yeah. It was only when coal came that they became rich, rich because of the coal because of the you know the the the, the thing which they get from the from nature. Yeah, God has given the, the yeah, wealth to they, us. Yeah, God has given. And you know I'll I'll give you a point on that, sir. You know remember when chief when Bibi Lingda was the chief minister. Yeah. So Bibi Lingda went to Saipung, uh, not Saipung, Bopung, Bopung, Bopung village. Yeah. So then he was, yes, he's right in saying, see that you are extracting this coal. If you do it in this way, then there'll be a time when there'll be no more coal. I remember the headman at the time. I was still small at the time. Headman at the time was Mawe Dakar. He was a church elder. So when he speaks, he said, you see, sir, we to bear people. We are so poor, as poor as a church mouse, <laughs> uh, that when God sees our heart, he put coal here. Now, sir, when there is no more coal, he'll put G-O-L-D, he said. <laughs> <laughs> From black coal to yellow yes, coal. Yellow coal. Uh, when this is like what you said. People, church elder, no? Huh? Was he quite educated? No, not educated. Not educated. <laughs> Means his only thing is he's a church elder. They are, but he had the yeah, wisdom, yeah, yeah, wisdom of God. Yes, uh. and the thing is, that was how it happened. And that's why our people, you see, if you if you track the history of coal, right from it, it was extract 
till it reach Kawati, how much it benefit the people all yeah. the way? It benefit all the poor people. And my point is this, it is very easy, sir, to sit in Delhi and decide yeah. on us people in the Northeast. I would prefer that these people should come and see. Once you stop coal, the revenue come down yeah. of the as state. It is happening now. Yeah, as it is happening. And not only that, it affects the people. So, again and again, again, I'm saying that if you, yes, I, I, will, I, will, I will not dispute that it has an impact also, that in the environment and all this. But what about Delhi? We have a pollution which impact not the environment only, it impacts the people itself. I did raise... But Delhi is so bad. People are suffering from that's what, bronchitis. Yes, I raise asthma a, because of I raise a question, but it is an, it is on star question oh. on the pollution in Delhi, and I ask for a pollution related disease and people dying yeah. out of that pollution. And they get TB also. Many of them yeah. are suffering from you, TB. Yeah, suffering, dying also. Not only that. Yeah. But I, I like when you keep your press uh, review, I mean report to the press, that not rat, rat hole mining. It yes. be scientific mining. You see, I believe fully with scientific mining, mm -hmm. sir. But the only thing is what happened. Eight years, this scientific mining, I don't know. It came even to Delhi, come to the state, the state to Delhi. I don't know what they are doing with it. Nothing was done. The people were suffering. You see, what they need, I feel. You are, a, you are a, sir, you are a scholar yourself. What they need is they should come, study first. Yeah. Whether that that uh, open cast mining is feasible or not with our state, then only decide what is the other alternative. There's always an alternative if we're really serious to do it. Dr. Khalukhi, uh, I've seen in USA and Canada, my daughter is there, so I went with my wife. I visited this coal mining belt. When I saw from afar in Tennessee, it was green. I said, that's coal mining, yes. Then when inside, it looks like a town inside, mm -hmm. all scientific. And there were big pipes that uh, sucks all the dust and it went to the chemical factories. Of course, uh, pollution is there, but the uh, degree of pollution is very less. You cannot know pollution. Mm -hmm. Even when you cook at home with your yes, yes. LPG, there will be pollution. Then I realized that they are, they are only protecting the environment. Common people benefit and the mineral sources are being used. And they have got access. Of course, their electrification is so through the nuclear power, nuclear for peace. So I think, I hope now, now May is going to end, six months more. I hope the government will continue after, hopefully, because we don't know the future are unpredictable. So we can continue with the scientific mining. Not that the miners will go there, hmm. as government has been doing, but we call a few selected scientists yes, yes. who are practical here. You see, it's a very good suggestion. The only thing is we have to have the political will to do political it. Political will, yeah. To do it. Because, yes, we need to have a scientific mining. We go and study and show that we are serious. That's why I'm also for it. But it should not remain like this for eight years, right from 2014 yeah. till 22, nothing was done. Who suffer? Our people suffer. And then people are forced and, to do yeah, legally. Yes. They have to live, they have yeah, to survive. Yeah, you see, if I, if, I, if I cite an example, everybody is shouting about that incident which happened, what was that the name? Those of? people who died. In yes, the those mind. people died. But whether these people knew, why those people, they know yeah. it is risky, why they have to go? Because there is there's ha having some church meeting in the village. They don't have money because delegates are coming from all over. They risk their life oh, for that. There was a church meeting ah, there. Yes, and they risk their life. They know that it's risky because, you know, Especially when it is banned, so they will they will go anywhere. And this area are risky. They know, but they need to live, no? Yeah, they need money. They need. So we we are very happy with when we talk of NGT ban and all this. But we don't look at this that this particular point. Why those people have to die? Yes, it is illegal mining, but they have to go there to survive. Mm. For that reason, we don't look at from that angle. So I would have been very happy if the NGT ban is there, then the NGT said, okay, since this is a ban, I'll be giving you this much money for your state yeah. or for the people there. The I will be very happy. Yeah. But nothing was done. People were left to themselves, left to fend for themselves. Yeah, idiots. And that's why we, we are buying cement from there. Hmm. 
from a record code. Must yeah. be illegal. Yes. So we are partner to illegal activities. It have to. Indirect. Sir, I, I've gone, I've seen the area. What do they have? They what they will they, yeah. they will do without it? You know, from seventy, you just imagine how many. It's almost four decades. Yeah. They have been doing it. Now all of a sudden you stop. Just like yeah. you know, you and me have been eating. Then we'll just ask us to stop eating rice. What will happen to us? See, like me, I've yeah. been teaching. It's only to stop teaching. Where will I go? I, yeah. <laughs> I could not do labor work. Yeah. I could not carry weight. Mm. Then I see. I like to share with you. See, when these farmers went on strike on MSP, minimum support price, Santa, they said the same like you said. The people in Delhi were calculating the minimum support price. But the farmers were in the field, they carried the loads by transport, had loads, and then transport to the market. They calculated the minimum support price. So the Barababu's officers in Delhi, bureaucrats calculated theoretically, and this calculated practically. That's why there was a clash. Mm. And they were steadfast in agitation. 900 of them died in the end of the to succumb. They realized they made a mistake, but you they see, didn't say it. Sir, you, you are a scholar yourself. You got a PhD. You know while doing your research, if you sit in, in, in Nehu, in your, you know, you are, uh, you are a professor there, you sit in your uh, desk and do your research, I think you'll get a, a, a different research which is not, <laughs> yeah, practical, not practical with the field. So this is what happened. This is what happened. Yeah. We are... We are assessing from Delhi and then give the, the yeah. order here. Yeah. Come here, study what is, same with the farmer. Come to the field, you'll, you'll see what, what is really happening in the field and you give your yeah. uh, thing. And, you, and there are many qualified people. Mm -hmm. See, I, I used to call them koila people. Mm -hmm. Koila means black. It will come time to be yellow. Cold. I used, why not consult those? Quite mm -hmm. a number of them are educated. If not them, the children. Consult them. They'll be happy. Who will not be happy when it benefits them? Yes. Uh, then even they are ready to part of part of their income to contribute to that research. But they, don't stop them. Yes. They, they will surely do because they know they have to yes. earn. They have to earn. And once they earn, they send the children to uh, different parts. Now, they can send a product also. Yes, yes. Now if you just study the generation gaps, the parents and the children, and you'll find out most of the children, they were educated in Bangalore, Mumbai, and everywhere. Uh, many of them are outside also. Huh? I was surprised. They, 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 are, they are doing the study medical in Ukraine, Russia, Philippines. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I mean, they, 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 they are doing IT also outside. And that is because of coal? Yeah. Now, many of them could not go. Hmm. So, I mean, this concept, the, I'm not telling you, the concept should start from the top. Yes. Come to the field. Yes. Interact with the coal people and then you'll be practical. As I told you, MSP, minimum support price. The bureaucrats calculated the, as far as minimum as possible, but they cal took into consideration the transport, mm. head load, and they came with above and above, about 25% above for these uh, unforeseen circumstances. And in, in indirectly, common succumb. Yes. And they paid the price. Am Admi Party came to power yeah, yeah, in Punjab. Punjab. And then not only that, sir, the thing is, if just I uh, think day before yesterday, I saw that, you know, in uh, this uh, Durdarshan, that uh, uh, Travelers Yan, he went down to that uh, what, Mao Belay or something village. Yeah. Then how those people have to carry their Mao oranges? Mao Belay that no, West Hasils, not here. Uh, no, no, I think... Uh, no, so, no, 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 not West Castle. This what? Somewhere in this, uh, in this Rangan, Rangan side. Oh, Rangan, Rangan, no, Rangan. I forgot that village. Then, you, we sit in Shillong. We will, we will, we will, we will calculate their, their oranges what, that the vehicle had brought from the road <laughs> to Shillong. But about the people carry it on their load, how they, you know, grow their oranges, nobody, ah, because yes. they will not be able to go down there. Yeah. So this is the thing what we need. Now I'll come back before we end. So, see, I, I'm very afraid to talk f much because of this sedition laws. Especially media is becoming popular. But certain things we have to bring to the notice of the government. These uh, French elements, they are trying to disintegrate the country. I'll think what happens in Jahangir Puri and recently in Madhya Pradesh. Priests were arrested for trying to baptize. They said forced conversion. Mm. And then even in the south, they're trying to divide their society. Next time you have a chance, you talk on the floor of parliament. 
Hmm. Because uh, now they attack certain communities. Next time they'll attack other communities. And finally they'll attack us. Like that no pastor in Germany during that time. Which, uh, first they came for the communists. I didn't bother because hmm. I was not a communist. Hmm. Then they came for the Jews. I didn't bother because I was not the Jews. Then they came for the socialists. I didn't bother because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the Catholics. I didn't bother because no, I was not a Catholic. Finally, they came for me and there was nobody to bother. Hmm. I'm afraid it might come to the state. You see, the thing is, uh, actually, I think when our leader, late P.A. Sangma, he raised this issue uh -huh. in parliament. So it's a very good suggestion. We should raise this issue. And plus, uh, the thing is, uh, sir, like what I have been telling you, that what we are speaking about, unity and diversity. Yes, indeed. This is also a unity in diversity. Yes, indeed. So we cannot allow fringe elements, yeah. you know, to take control. We should have, which means the government should have the control. They cannot shirk their responsibility. Yeah. This is what I feel. But, well, at the same time, you know, as a believer, sometimes also we have to look to ourselves. You yeah. know, our God, we know our God is a powerful God. So, like, especially to us also, we should, Put this question to us. What do we do? Either we just you know, speak or we act. act and let him know what. Because mm. sometimes, you know, we as believers, we talk among ourselves, but we never let our God know. <laughs> <laughs> Though we know that he's a powerful God. But do so, we, he but, should know that we yeah, know. Yeah, he should know that. He, he will tell him. He, he, he sees, but we will have to tell him. Hmm. The thing is this. That day, one press, they asked me about this, about this civil court. Then they said, you know that the BJP is going to, is going to, by 2024, they're going to implement the civil court. What is your reaction? I said, 2024? They said, yes. My reaction is this. I said, do you know the BJP will come to power in 2024? Yeah. Are you sure? Then they said, yes. Then I said, you show me your calculation. My calculation doesn't speak like that. Yeah. My calculation is the way I see today. If the opposition, which it used to happen when the Congress were in power like the BJP, yeah. ultimately the opposition was left in nothing. Unity of opposition. <laughs> yeah. If there's a unity of opposition in UP, sir, mark my word today, there will be no BJP government in 2024. How many votes last time the non-BJP got? 51% in UP. Yeah. You see the same thing. Before when Congress was so powerful, that Unity of opposition finished the Congress. Same thing today. BJP was so powerful. Unity, the, what they call it, the index of opposition unity. That <laughs> will finish the BJP. See, when I talk on this uh, French element, it happened during the Congress government. So, at that time, you remember, um, during the time, Indira Gandhi, they put Lieutenant Governor, A. A. Raja, to yes. check the entry Arun of Chal. other uh, religious segments. Only the Ramshina and um, tribal traditional religion were allowed. Especially in Arunachal. Yeah. And then in the Assam Bali, you remember, 1968, all the foreign missionaries were expelled. That's why Dr. Hughes from Dr. Watt went away, and our Bishop Stephanus Fernando went away, kept way to the locals. French elements are everywhere. So when we try to talk in Parliament, of course, you, you are a political science background. You can talk better than what I think. So we cannot condemn BJP. No, no. But we condemn this French element. We, 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 sir, we were not taught to condemn people. Yeah. We are taught to, let's try to see if they can see the light out of it. <laughs> no, but when you bring sense, they yes, have yeah, to realize. Yes. See, what, what worries me, you should read the latest, uh, the Fortnite magazine of the, from, of this, uh, the Hindu. So, the oppression bulldozer, and there were all those extreme elements on, on the bulldozer, demolishing mm -hmm. the worship places of certain communities. So I think that is very bad. we should yes. bring to the notice yes. of the power that we, we cannot condemn leaders. Yes, yes. But if we don't bring to the notice, they'll think that what they did is right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So good. So now, I'll ask you one thing, yeah, that you are there. How do you find the developmental issues in our state? You talk of index last time. How do you find this uh, index of development? You see, Especially sir. education. You see, sir, education, I don't know. I may, I, I don't know whether I, I, I'm on the same line or not, but the way I've seen education, I think education, 
we this education that we are having today is the education which was introduced in 1813 in which that's why we are having a problem that those days the British brought education not with the intention to get us educated they need cheap clerks <laughs> cheap because clerks. you know if they if, if you're bringing a clerk from outside. from UK, UK or outside you have to pay him more but if you educate an Indian you pay him less uh. so <laughs> till date we are following the same system sir that's why we're having so much educated unemployed youth I think situation have to change yeah. even policy of education have to change it is, should not be like what you said that a policy that you know that it will encourage certain community or encourage certain religion or you know mm. it should not be on that yeah. policy should be to help the youth arm themselves in which they don't have to depend anymore on anyone yeah. or anybody but on their own yeah. like what I've just uh, s uh, talked with you last time or this time I think that uh, the sustainable economy yeah, sustainable you economy. just have to get the people educated on this line and it is not that if you take a, you know uh, just a very example if you take a snong pudding most of the boatmen they were not In educated war -tia. yeah war -tia. most of the boatmen they were not educated that but through tourism they start earning through you know their boat for tourists and all this and you imagine each each boatman will be earning around 500 to 1000 a day yeah. that 30 40 boats and then not only that then those fishermen then you know those uh, tourist yeah, resort and uh, the restaurant resort. All, yeah so this is the thing and which I put up to end no? yes Earn. and the thing is like you know we have to train I, I, I really appreciate this uh, this avenues you know they train over uh, you avenues avenues no this mark like flung thing oh, 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 oh. they were trained so much that their PR are is excellent sir and especially for tourism I think we need where, where is his office I think somewhere here in uh, thing in fire brigade hmm. yeah. I experienced the last time when I went to a wedding and they were you know they were the one who take care of the guests are uh, excellent and this also another office near St. Peter, skill Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think this also, yes, skill. See, I, I don't know. This new addiction policy, I've been saying from, from the time of Kothari, mm -hmm. and then Kesipan, 1986, and then we get... Mm, I, no, not much different. It's like old wine in new bottles mm. with, with certain ingredients yes, yes. to attract the drinkers. I think, I think it should have to be a, a big shift, like what they, like what they said in earthquake. It should be a tectonic shift. Tectonic <laughs> shift. <laughs> I, I'm speaking of my state. I'm yeah, speaking yeah. of my state. See, I'll tell you, about Dr. Khalke, when this new policy of friction was introduced during KC Pan, I was Rajiv Gandhi Prime Minister. The center invited through the letters all from different parts of the country in that NCRT where we met. And from mathematics, myself and Reggie went to prepare how to introduce before introduction into the respective states. Then, okay. And then when he came to the state, then Captain Suma took the initiative. He said, we have no time to read. I'm only mere captain. Bauris was minister of education. Please, professors, teachers, mm. help us. We have many carros, many cars there. Help us. You need money, you need car, you need room, we'll give you. Who will not work with that kind of statement? You see, you see, sir, what Captain Sama did was right. But if you look at the text prepared during the Congress, same thing the BJP is copying from the Congress. During those days, within the Congress, there is the, you know, the Marxist, you know, yeah. Marxist element. Yeah, especially in history, writing <laughs> yeah, of yeah. history. <laughs> writing of history. If you, if you look at those, this Marxist uh, influence were very much. So I think... What the BJP is doing today, yeah. they are just copying but changing, changing the, the, the approach, approach. Changing <laughs> the approach. So what I feel is that, like what Captain Sangma has said, sir, yes, he don't have time to read, but we have people here, qualified, educated people here. Don't don't look at you know that uh, that the syllabus that was given from there. Okay, we have to read since uh, you know yeah. it's we, a con we, we concurrent of affairs. Of we have concurrent to read, subject. but let us have our own syllabus also. Yeah. Assistant. But more or less as far as possible, mm. we let them because if we defer too much, then students who appear Indian civil services might mm. find difficult. Yeah, yeah, that's why we will we will not uh, defer to that extent. But actually, let us also have a syllabus which you know when our youth 
Mm. They they graduated, then they can. It is like helping them to stand on their own feet. They can can be employable. Yeah, employable. Uh, I think you should bring to the notice of the of the ministry here that we need more trainings. We know about NEP. Of course, after uh, NEP Delhi comes out, NEP of our state dies out. So we need more training. People don't know. We write in the paper about how much you can cover. You see, sir, when I'm sitting now with that, you, uh, yeah, COVID I'm, is yes, I'm sitting less. with you. You are giving the right idea, the right point. Why I'm saying that? Last time, 50 years of statehood. So we're sitting. Then ultimately, you know, there was some light on us that why not call Professor David and we have this yeah. and we bring out. It's a very good suggestion, sir. We can have first a core group, mm -hmm. you know, core a group. core group to sit. Sit and study like what I said, not that just sit here, but study the, you yeah. know, the crown reality, yeah. and then we come out and we show the government. Yeah. Because so government, like what Captain Sangma said, yeah. they have no time. They have no time. Even Oris was a professor of huh. Edmund, he had no time. Had no time. So we are Even we also have no time, sir, frankly we speaking. Were, at that time, <laughs> it was not Emily. We were given a big book. Yes, yes. So with that kind of encouragement, no money is a problem, no room is a problem, mm -hmm. car is not a problem. Yes, yes. So yes. we studied. He and it us, can be done, sir. He, Give us two weeks' time, we finish in one week. Ah, it we, can be done. Yeah. You see, sir, that book which came out 50 years, it took us, of course, one year, but it came out. Yeah. So same thing, we can we can come out with those such suggestions. You can bring to notice. Yes, yes. And it's can, a very good suggestion. He can talk also with the yes. education minister. No, no, it's a very good suggestion. I will, this will be in my mind mm -hmm. that we have to have this. And another thing, we don't know much about this uh, skill development and this um, micro, yeah, small, no, that medium is, uh, People don't know much. Yeah, even me also, sir. Frankly speaking, I know because I write yeah, paper. Yeah, I yeah, have yeah. to read. Mm -hmm. I cannot write without reading. Yes. No, otherwise I'll, I'll make myself a fool. So therefore, the, now for example, there's a big scheme. Hmm, they keep from there, start up, mm -hmm. and villages. What's this start up? Start up. <laughs> and once you progress, you can join that unicorn and you mm -hmm. get to uh, finance. And from Kassils, there's one one person has taken up startup. Mm. Of course, he comes from a well-educated family. It's quite so these are people we need yeah. in that team. Yes. So, Dr. Khalki, I'll share with you the experiences, the challenges, and the dare to hope and translate into reality on film industry. Many young boys, young girls, they have taken up film industry, production of film, writing of scripts, Though they are running a loss, mm. it came in our paper today, the slate. Commander Chang Pliang, he was quite a yes, very I good reporter, it. earning a good job. But he went to film industry. And then we got one from Jan Hills, Larry Su He has produced 20 films. He said, I am in good loss, but I'm thinking for our community or society. We should one day prosper. So, and he, he lamented that government is not extending help. So don't you think that this is the right direction why, that our youth are taking? Yes, it is the right direction, sir. Not only that, we through films we have seen, we you also learn about the culture and the yeah. thing. And yes, government should help. But another thing is what I'm seeing with us, what, what we call Kajak mm -hmm. The thing is, our people should really know that love of your own people. You see, our, our film producers should not have lamented to such an extent. If our love for our people, our love for our culture, you just look the South Indian, Tamil, Tamil Nadu. How much they, you know, they, they appreciate their Tamil films and all this. And their films, they run into crows because why? The people were backing them. The people were backing them. It's sad to say that even songs, instead of me buying, I will get it, you know, record. <laughs> Record for free. This is a very wrong mentality. No, no, I, I think you must. They are not lamenting. They don't have the theatres. Yes, yes. No, no, they produce. They are running yeah. a loss. Larry no. Sushyang, he now is 21st. He's running a loss. Come on. But they don't have the theatres. People want to do something, but they don't have theatres. Now that COVID has subsided. No, the thing is, what I said, sir, thing, thing which government helps, the government should help them. That's what I'm saying. But what I'm telling is that people thought they should have that love. Yeah. For, you know, not only love, the pride, no? That at least these people, they are producing film for our own for culture, culture, for our own tradition, our own, you know, when you see the film of, uh, you know, this, if you put uh, in, in Marastra the film of Shibiji, it will oh. be full. Film of Tirat Singh should be full. Yes, it yes. should be running two years, not only yes, into yes. weeks. 
what the people should learn what i'm feeling is that loving your people loving your uh, you know jai ban rio is this yeah. like these people they have producing this it our own we should encourage them mm. we should you know and government should do its part that i i don't dispute they, they, that they are incurring loss yeah but they continue yes yes they should be appreciated i mm. highly appreciate them but in spite of that because it just shows that their real love for the culture and the people they're doing it yeah. but a message also should be sent beside the government because like government might be helping them with theater and all this but if nobody is going seeing the yeah. film and all this then no it, i'll share with you when you talk film i saw the film tamil film because i was i went for training in madurai district so in that theater these tamil speaking people they invited me i still remember their name adi kangal mm-hmm. the eyes mm-hmm. so beautiful that film i could not follow now it level level like that but i went mm-hmm. i went to see the film three times mm-hmm. because the meaning the action then of course first time the fellow was whispering to me the stuff but you see it was so good then i came to know there was far better than certain hindi films mm. and it was such a challenge how the whole was packed for months and not only that sir if you see their hero worshiping their hero oh. that's one thing no they worship even mg ramachandra yeah, and shivaji ganesh and this uh, lady jayalalitha in the uh, this uh, dmk uh, the father of stalin and then recently this fellow who was about to enter politics hmm. ganesh and then he actually he's a marastrian but staying there mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. talk tamil he won he so this is what we needed yeah. from us also they did from their side mm-hmm. and then when the film prospered they also prospered mm-hmm. it's got it is a power of pride no they have got a big population they are more than 6 mm-hmm. crores 7 crores sir even with 20 lakhs yeah. you just take it if that 20 lakhs population give only 2 rupees or 4 rupees how much the earning and now today's 2 rupees is nothing yeah, nothing Bega will not take that yeah. money also. <laughs> Which means, you know, in uh, when you go to a film show, it's 200, 300. Yeah, 250 so, to get. So. This is what is needed. It's good. That means we should encourage. I, we saw today in our... And even, you know, just for example, not only that, uh, Confidelia, she is trying to, or, to have a... She was telling me that day I went and visited the place in this uh, Mukla village. She was going to, she is going to make a studio. A studio there? Yes, very good. film studio. Confidelia toy. Yeah. Oh, very good. You see... our people you are from gentil especially i'm from mungap i'm from west khasil but we stayed in mungap theater mm-hmm. every year three days continuous three theater mm-hmm. started from 7 pm it ended at 7 am uh, in the morning yeah and then i asked the organizer why are for going in the night to home who did uh, cold food we stay here in the morning mm-hmm. catch mm-hmm. and not only that out of out of what they earn there then they you know they renovate their hall they be, make a bigger hall this is what they did no what but what i find that in mongap and marusu mostly from gent hills hmm. they took pride that in making the hall and you wrote the name write my name huh? how much you spend ah, only on those days uh, hmm. 500 1000 was a big amount of money because we were tailors no So I could have said, but anyway, the law of uh, the community, the law of culture, I appreciate this commander Siang Pliang, as I said. I saw today, Larry Su Siang, mm. the 21st film, he said, I will not stop, I will go on for mm. my people, so that the future generation will know what we did. Yes, yes. I think even then, government should not wait no, to be told. Yeah. Government, no. so after all, culture does not belong to the people, to common people, also to those. Now, coming back, I can... Uh, education i think we should stress on especially this economy activity i don't know i think you know earlier we used to get quite good amount of loan for starting business even for buying car we get soft yes. loan that's why cars are jam i think we should try to ins- insist on the banking sector to extend loan for these people to start small scale industries and prior to that there should be training for these people yes i think with regards to loan like what you said training is a must yes, because i do remember that was way back uh, i was still very young at the time in high school when after getting our statehood yeah then of course government go for this loan no uh, this uh, fabrication because of no training in my locality i think after the loan there almost 20 fabrication <laughs> steel fabrication <laughs> 
after one or two years, ultimately one or two remain. So what, what you said, training is ever important. But only thing is, I don't know, I just come across, maybe I'm wrong, that it seems that the interest, the RBI is increasing on the interest on loan. 10%. I don't know, it seems much... Uh, no, but actually for to extend loan to this uh, micro, small and medium enterprises, the loan is not so high. Because recently, I don't know, sir, I, I, I may be wrong on that. The, the, problem, the problem is uh, with the state B here, State mm -hmm. Industrial Development Corporation, mm -hmm. because there's also Industrial Development Bank, Industrial Development Bank of India. But here in the state, we got the seed B. So it seems there's a competition gap between the RBI at the centre and the respective state should be. So therefore, we should follow up. Now that we are in the press, we try to follow up. And but before getting the money, they should know how to use mm. the. No, no, you said training. Because, is. because before you keep a car to a person, you should know how to drive. If he employs the driver, he'll spend more money. And the thing is, they should know also the markets. Market, yeah, markets. Market. Where are they going to market it? Because now, as you said earlier, education has been started from more than 200 courses during the time of Lord Macaulay, I think, mm, no? Yeah. So we should change according to time, no? Yes, yes. Earlier we put dhoti and putoi, mm. now jacket type, so mm. now and turban. Now we put suited, putet and tie, no? We should change also our mm. profession. But before we change, we should learn how to tie a necktie. Yes, yes, yes. How to put on pants, no? So how you put from front to back, back to front. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, call, we used to say, that's known as UP, Ulta, <laughs> Ulta. <laughs> so I think the government should take it as a challenge. Should take a challenge. You see, government officers, if we push them, they'll do it. We have been pushing some of them doing. So we cannot generalize that government yes. is lying idle. If you push the government and the ministers push, they'll do it. Who doesn't want credit? Yes, yes. And who doesn't want to be re-elected? Hmm. Actually, they'll push their officers hmm. and they'll get cooperation people. So therefore, I feel that in all these things, we should be involved and we should bring awareness. So we'll continue. So now, as you said, as you from your side, that science and technology should benefit our society. i like to add that when we got our statehood, 1970 autonomous state, and then 1972 full statehood, we had a population of 10 lakh 11,000. And I remember the smallest constituency at that time was cantonment, only 5,000. Mm -hmm. And the first only was the end Joshi, mm. now he died. Now the population is approaching 40 lakhs. Gold school colleges have increased. So I think it's high time that we should bring an awareness to the students at the class, from class 7, 8, what will be their future. Yes. See, I like to share, I've been there. In America, for example, once you have a class 9, they bring the student to the different opening. They take them to the veterinary for one week. They take them to medical center. So that they develop, oh, I'm not fit for veterinary, I'm not fit for medicine, I'll be an engineer. So therefore, don't you think that all schools and colleges should have the interaction with the corresponding specialists, either with industries or with farmers or with hospitals, and see that, that aptitude? You see, sir, what I feel is that a very simple thing. Okay, we don't go to the, you know, to the, to the, to the, what I'll say, to the modern, modern uh, mm. world. The only thing is, like what I said, go back to your roots. Mm. Our ancestor, agriculture, like what I told you in yeah. 1920, they were a surplus. Yeah. Agriculture, they were self, self-sufficient. Even you uh, talk to like uh, veterinary or beef yeah. eating or pork eating, whatever may be. It was self-sufficient. Yeah, self Fish was self-sufficient. Now, even rice we have to buy from outside. Even uh, beef, beef from outside, from pork from outside, pig from outside, fish from outside, fish from, from outside, eggs also huh? from under. Everything, chicken, everything from outside. If we just go and study why this happened, then then it comes to what you said. We have to teach the student right from their school level mm. that you can survive. You can rear chicken, you can have, you know, you can yeah. go for uh, agriculture and all this. We have to concentrate on that, sir. Yeah. Yes, very right. As you said earlier, I agree with you. Once students become educated, they search for government job. Yes, that's they the They prefer the a peon job yes. to uh, an honorable farmer. With education, 
as you said, you can revive agriculture, mm -hmm. fisheries, yes. and all. Yes, this mindset had to be changed. Yeah. Or else, you know, this mindset was, you know, the people mindset is that once I'm educated, I, those jobs are menial jobs. Mm -hmm. They don't know that from, you see, if you look at uh, some of the big politicians in America, they were farmers themselves. Yeah, they were like farmers. The they were, you know, then they became rich and all this. People don't look at that. They should look at that. Yeah. If you can, if you can supply fish, only suppose if you really, you know, like people go for fisheries and all this, only by supplying fish, I think in Shillong and other parts, Maklia, they will be the richest. Yeah. See, this MDC from yeah. Laban, yes. Michel Wankar. And that also you have to take right from Andhra. Oh, yeah. So you just imagine and from your own area. He has, he has hmm. with that eyes, he preserved the fish yes. and he became a supplier of fish. Yes. So he should be a model to those yes. who like to indulge in hmm. fish trade. Of course, it's nice, no? though it's not fishy, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. So now I'll come back to what I said to you. So next session you'll attend in, in yes. July. August. July. Yes. I hope you'll try, if you get time, to st stress on that looks out. Yes. Because I, I heard from you first time. To revive that famous glory of the people of the border area with Bangladesh. You see, sir, what I've said now, we are thinking of, I've spoken to Chief Minister, we're thinking of having a seminar. So my thing is, looks out is, when we have a seminar, we'll have the contribution yeah. of most of those experts you know, in the field. Then this book, I will take it myself to Delhi, to all the ministries. That's one. And number two, this time I'm thinking of talking on coal. Coal. Coal yeah. should talk. Yeah, I'm talking on coal because why I want them to realize what the impact coal had, not only on our people, but also on the economy of the state. Yeah. And it's high time that we solve the problem. Yeah. We cannot just linger on with the problem. Yeah, no. See now, to add to what, I, 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 I learned from scientists in Bombay. In Moroccan area, they could reach deposit of phosphates. Hmm which is a source of uh, manure for the farmers. We cannot allow to lie idle. God gave us to use it. Yes. And sir, you're a science student, mathematics. Yeah. Let me tell you, inform you, you know why Sung Valley, yes, Sung Valley. is so rich and productive? They said because of this phosphate. I don't oh, know. Yeah, yeah they, right. They phosphate. said because of phosphate. And when the rain falls, all that phosphate goes down to the Sung Valley. Yes. And it became the granary of not yes. the Hills, but even of the whole United yes, States yes. in the hills. But now, Sung could not supply even giant hills. Mm -hmm. So therefore, all these things, for example... And when you look, it is not that uh, that they could not supply because uh, they have over-cultivated the land. They are not cultivating the land. That's the problem, you see. We still have so many lands to be cultivated. No, no. He, but, but here the problem, the hurdle, is uh, communication. To bring from the place of production to the place of transport, Sumbali up to the top, Lom Yap Kentai, mm. I think they have to pay more than 50 rupees. Mm -hmm. So how did it get back the money? So the for road connectivity. Yes, yes, yes. Road connectivity. Yes, yes. Because road connectivity is very important, sir. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was John F. Kennedy who made this yes. remark. He said, America have good roads. It's not that America is rich. It is because of the road in America that America became rich. <laughs> so same thing like what you said. If road connectivity is there, then they can easily uh, bring their so produce or product. I can to stress, carrying the head load from Sung, mm -hmm. one trip, one hour going coming. How many trips you can cover? Ten yes, trips? Yes, yes, yes. Six trips? Yeah, what difficult. if the road connectivity is up to the source? Mm -hmm. Car loads of uh, rice products and other agriculture Now there's, there's a road there, but I don't know where it reached. You know, after uh, just uh, been between Mokundur and thing. There's already oh. a, a road. No, but it uh, but that does not go up to the bottom. Yeah, maybe, it does not maybe. cover all. Yes, maybe. Because Zumbali is a very big yes, valley. Yes, no? yes, yes. How did you cut this name, Zumbali? That I don't know. Somebody said it must be Chinese name. No, the thing is, that is a big... Uh, if you, you talk about the history of that valley, I don't know, I came across a professor who said that... Of course, I didn't see the writing or the finding. Who said that, uh, you know, that uh, Mailong Raja... Raja. He said, Mailong Raja is not a Khasi or a Jaintia. He's a Garo, he said. <laughs> but I don't know. It's yet to be proved. Maybe. Yet Maybe. to be proved. Yet to be proved. But that Sung Valley had its history with this Mailong Raja. Oh. I've gone there. 
Okay, set aside that uh, it is yet to be proof because I have yeah. a discussion with a professor. You have gone down there. No, I'm not gone down there because you see this, uh, this, uh, I may say, this fortress. It was on the top mm. at Mokandur. Yeah. Then you still see the remnants of this fortress, like where they put the sentinel, sentinels and all this, where where they're watching. Did for, I, I didn't know that. It's there, and there's uh, there's also a, she's a scholar. She's, she passed from, uh, I think, Gujarat, from University of Gujarat, Archaeological. So that Tumbali was uh, encouraged by Mailong Raja? Yes, he, 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 was, he was the ruler at that time. And at the time of Mailong Raja, he had defeated both the Khanriyam, uh, the aim of Hima Khanriyam and the aim of Jaintia. And then, you know, if you, I think, I don't know, we have come across the story, it's more like the Delaila story, mm -hmm. in which, you know, one yeah, Jaintia, yeah. So, but you will see the remnants of this. I have been there. I will call you one day when I'm yeah. going. So that means that Tumbali is a yes, one is, of his and yes, yes. We so under him. So it can be revived, no? Yes, it can be revived. Because uh, as you've said, only part of the land was co is being cultivated. Yes. They cannot carry that on head. Yes, yes. Road. So therefore, now as I said, the two can combine mineral resources and agricultural resources. Yes. Once it's combined, it even phosphate potentiality in Morgane. I think that region will be very rich. Yes, yes, yes. Once the area is rich, Shilong will be a big market for mm. them to buy the They need not go to Kohati or Bombay. So I think we should we don't encourage need to bring people. From, yes. So yeah, I think this time we have got a very good um, MP Rajas. I'm not no, praising no. you. Uh, every, I'm not every, just, because I've known you, your background. You have your father and contractor, so you are quite enterprising. <laughs> no. You are educated. Uh, you are educated, PhD, from history, Paul Science. So you can use your expertise in bringing awareness to the people in parliament and to encourage our people look south and act south yes so i think that's okay so i think we have come there are many things to be said but time constraint we have to honor you know i said i always give thanks to this i always give thanks to this they are the one who do all the direction yeah. the production and they keep the scanner in the end we get the credit hey, khaluk, dr khaluk, dr marwan <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. Okay, thank, thank you, you yeah. sir.